<laughs> so that was really annoying, wasn't it? So what we got to do is replace some bushings in the, uh, the brake and clutch pivot assembly, I guess you'd call it. So I'm probably not going to be able to film any of this removal because this is a really tiny spot. But maybe I can describe what I'm going to do. So I'm going to need to remove, if we can see it, four bolts there. Those go through to the uh, hydro boost, get those off. And there's also two on the top holding this assembly in place. And we'll have to pull this brake light switch off of there, you know, disconnect the push rod from the hydro boost, get that all disconnected. And then same with the, the clutch there. I have a Heim joint on it because, well, I had an issue with the, the old clutch rod just flying off there. But that was because I needed new bushings, and I just never did it until until now. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to film that, but I'm gonna get this all pulled out of there, and hopefully, once I get everything unbolted, it's gonna rotate around the steering shaft. If not, then I'll have to take these two bolts loose and get that steering shaft out of the way. But we will be back, and hopefully, on my workbench. All right, it's out. That was not easy at all. I did have to take the the steering linkage out, which it. It's not made to come out. It looks like it is, but it's not. And this is where the slave cylinder for the clutch was bolted to, so I had to take that free. But I ended up taking the uh, the brake booster assembly and pulling it out of the way too, just to get these to slide down. So it's awesome. I'm gonna. Here's the kit I got. It's pretty hard to read, but it says F3TZ 2C342A 1X. It's all these little plastic bushings. So I think I'm gonna, there must be like a big shaft going through there. So hopefully this will all come apart real easy. Okay, here we are completely disassembled. Now I have an issue. So I drive 300 miles a day, seven days a week, all city. I push that clutch a lot. So I think I am going to fill this in with the welder and go from there. So it's going to be a minute. got to get it all back together. I should probably lube up the shaft too. Okay, so I had to pull this bushing back a little bit and then drop this straight down. So this little black piece here, it has a lip right here so you can drop it down there. Shaft all lubed up. everywhere I gotta make this spring reattach Okay, I ended up pounding it down a little bit. I ended up taking off that little, uh, there was like a little square that stuck off of there. I ended up taking that off. Now this was right in line with the clutch arm. So hopefully I get this right. I think it goes just like that. Okay. I 
think. If not, when it's in the vehicle, I can move it. Tighten both the 18 millimeter ones back on there. There's one on each side. This side, the, uh, the clutch pedal is actually welded to that thing, so didn't really need to take that one off. So now I gotta figure out how to get this spring back into there. I was thinking maybe these pliers, maybe I could compress it. Oh yeah, that'll work. There we go. Ooh, that's smooth. All right, I'm gonna get that reinstalled. Okay, so I didn't have that lever in the right spot, so I did have to take it and move it back a little bit, but everything is in there. Ooh, that was nice. The real test though, starting it. Double buzzer. You gotta make sure that it lets you go. In. Oh, yeah. All right. That feels really good. It's not like before the pedal was wobbling. So was the brake pedal. Now it looks firm. I like that. Well, that was not fun, but that was satisfying to get that done. That that clutch and brake pedal has bothered me for years. How it just it, there's so much play in it and it wobbles and. I'm really glad that's done. I don't really got to worry about that anymore. So that's it. Hopefully that can help someone replace their bushings. Yeah. Alright, this is like, like driving a brand new truck, kind of. But I'm pretty much having to uh, relearn how to drive this. It's quite a bit different. I was so used to the clutch pedal always like kicking me back when I got to the top. And, this is nice. The, uh, the shifts are firmer. It, it just seems so much better. So I'm pretty happy I made that repair. This was a big improvement. Actually, it was easier to downshift too. Yeah, it used to kind of fight me a little bit. That's nice. So, all right. That's it, the end.